Hey, what's up guys? TJ here with Snowboard Pro Camp. Today I'm back out at Keystone Resort and I wanted to share with you my top six picks for snowboards this season. All right guys, so I know a lot of you may be really attached to certain brands or certain boards and uh, I don't mean for this to be controversial at all. This is just based off boards that I have experience with and boards that I feel comfortable recommending to you guys as a reliable and durable product that I know you're gonna have a good time with. If you have any questions for me or if you want to reach out to me personally, the best place is going to be on Instagram, at Board Archive. And uh, with that being said, let's jump right into it. So my top snowboard pick for beginners is going to be the Arbor Formula. I've thought a lot about this and I think the Arbor Formula has a lot of really great pieces of tech in it that just make it a great all around board for someone just getting into the sport to learn on and also progress with. The Formula is a rocker snowboard. It's a mountain twin, so it can ride the same in both directions. It also has additional contact points on the side cut to help give you grip on ice. There's not really any other boards out there right now that can combine all those pieces of tech that are so great for beginners, especially the additional contact points. My top freestyle snowboard pick is the Never Summer Fun Slinger. So I got to spend a good amount of time on this board last year. It's a super fun board as the name suggests. I got to take it through the park, cruise around the mountain, hit jumps, hit rails, hit side hits, and that board was just so fun. It's really playful, it ollies well, locks into features well, it feels really catch-free on rails. For a board that's gonna be playful, you can press, you can rails, you can do butters, you can hit jumps. Uh, my vote goes to the Never Summer Fun Slinger. My aggressive freestyle snowboard pick is the Ride Helix snowboard. I also had a great day on this snowboard last year. Make sure to check out the snowboard review on it if you haven't yet. Uh, the reason I chose this snowboard is because it is a freestyle specific board. It's a true twin, uh, it's regular camber, and it's pretty stiff. It also has an asymmetrical side cut, so it's a really great carver on your heel and your toes. Um, carves on par with most all mountain boards. It's just a really fun board. Uh, the reason I chose it for my aggressive freestyle pick is just because it excels so well on jumps and it's still a ton of fun on rails. So if you're the type of rider that wants to hit the big jumps or get into that type of riding, the Ride Helix is a good option for you. My pick for all mountain freestyle goes to the Capita Defenders of Awesome Snowboard or Capita DOA. It is just a really fun all around snowboard, whether you're carving up groomers or you're in the park hitting jumps or hitting rails or you just want to do some butters, uh, this board performs anywhere you take it. One of the biggest standout features on this board for me was how much pop it had. So if you're the type of rider who kind of wants to do a little bit of everything, from carving to hitting jumps to hitting the park, the Capita DOA is going to be a really fun snowboard. My pick for aggressive all-mountain freestyle board is going to go to the Burton Custom Twin. The reason I chose this board for my aggressive all-mountain pick is because it's stiffer than most any other all-mountain freestyle board I've tested so far. It's very stiff, very aggressive, very precise control over the edges as you're going around. It still is super fun in the park. I actually was able to test this board at High Cascade with Kevin this summer. It was just so stable and so poppy and uh, it's really a board that can do anything. And lastly, my pick for all mountain snowboard goes to the Slash Nawal. It was so hard to make this decision, but there's a few factors on the Nawal that made me choose that board over some other really great boards I had tested. One really cool thing about this board is that it has POW inserts. So that allows you to set your stance back really far so it almost rides like a fish snowboard uh, on those deep days where you're gonna be riding some deep powder. And then when you're just riding it regularly, there's the option to set it up like a regular snowboard kind of centered within the side cut. Another great piece of tech in this board is the additional contact point right in the middle of the side cut. Helps out a lot on ice and hard packed snow. Um, overall, this board was a killer carver the side cut was pretty aggressive allowing you to do some really hard arcing turns had a lot of fun everywhere I took this board I think the main reason I had to choose the slash Nawal as my all-mountain pick was how damp it was it was such an insane board going over uneven terrain it absorbed the chatter so well so if you're the type of rider that needs a board to handle anything ranging from pow to the groomers to uneven terrain you want to charge and you don't want to feel every little bump underfoot then the Slash Nawal is gonna be a great option for you. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's gonna be links in the description for you to check out each of those boards in a little bit more detail if you'd like. 
Let us know what your favorite snowboard is in the comments. I'd love to know what you guys are on or what you'd like to be on. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna try to dig myself out of this hole.